Welcome to Asian Anifax, the channel about Chinese, Korean and Taiwanese actors and actresses. Today I will show you the lists of dramas of Feng Xiaofeng, Part 7, Traveling to Tiger Mountain, 2009, Cast, Feng Xiaofeng, Kosher Sun, Yu Yong, Zhou Muin, Chui Nan, Lu Ziheo. He played Rong Quan, the eldest son born in a martial arts family during the early years of the Republic of China. Rong Quan's father, Rong Songhai, is a well known master of martial arts and leader of the South Songhai, who emphasized on his students and family that the purpose of practicing martial arts is not to compete with others but to strengthening the body and the most essential thing is to hone the people's will. On the day of the birthday celebration of Rong Songhai, Rong Kwan and his sibling were preparing gifts on the street and saw an injured woman, so they carried her home to heal. But a vicious man secretly instructed his henchmen to provoke others and make trouble, Rong Songhai teach them a lesson. However, a martial arts master who saw the situation but don't know the inside story came to aid the troublemaker, causing a misunderstanding that was used by the vicious man to frame the Rong family. Because of the accusation the Rong family declined, that made Rong Quan to re-examine his life and took on the important role of revitalizing the family and became the first master of the martial arts family. Love Tribulations 2009 Cast Feng Xiaofeng, Audian, Annie E, Michelle Yim, Li Fei'er, Chiao Xinyu. He played Xin Chao Zong, a businessman from a medical family, who fell in love with the beautiful Du Lan Yin. Du Lan Yin used to be a daughter of a rich family, but after her father died, her stepmother, who had been cruel to her since marrying to her father, decided to sell her to a brothel but was rescued by her childhood friend, and later work as a maid in the house of the owner of the medicinal herb shop, who wanted to make her his concubine, but the main wife married Du Lan Yen to a lame man to prevent her husband in making her his concubine. Shen Chao Zong is the business rival of Du Lan Yen's boss, and they had been fighting openly and secretly to monopolize the medicinal material business. To get the support of the national government to took over the medicinal material business in Nanjing, Shen Chao Zong borrow money from a wealthy festival woman, who deliberately made a bet with him. The bet involves Du Lan Yen, whom she notices was the woman Shen Chao Zong loves, despite Du Lan Yen's being a married woman to a lame man. On the night of Qixi Festival, Shen Chao Zong suddenly appeared in front of Du Lan Yen, the two of them chatted very speculatively and in the process of getting along Shen Chao Zong really fell in love with Du Lan Yen. And when Shen Chao Zong found out Du Lan Yen's ordeal because of her boss, he designed to let her boss enter a trap to bankrupt his family to rescue Du Lan Yen. Later, Shen Chao Zong and Du Lan Yen become a couple, as it was disclosed that Du Lan Yen is not really married and was only on a fake marriage as instructed by her boss to have his way on her and to escape the watchful eye of his wife. The Diamond Family 2009 Cast Feng Xiaofeng Dai Jiao Qian Lan Xinyan Qian Yong Chen Sun Xing Lian Lu He played Shi Jun Chao, a top student at Fudan University, who has a lot of insight into currents, despite growing up in a poor family, his mother died when he was young and his father had a food stall selling wonton noodles. By chance, Shi Junchao was hired as a tutor for the youngest lady of the Yu family, and he happened to meet the illegitimate eldest daughter of Yu family, Yu Aishua, who had been discriminated since she was born, despite growing up in the wealthy family. One day, in the courtyard of the Yu family, Shi Junchao picked up a book that Yu Aishua had dropped, and the two began to talk on topics they were commonly interested in which caused Shi Junchao to be late for the tutoring class. When Shi Junchao rushed to the study room, the youngest lady was furious, and knowing that he was wrong, he apologized and tried to make amends. Shi Junchao was invited by the youngest lady of the Yu family for her coming birthday celebration, which he politely refused. 
Then on the night of the birthday celebration, Shi Jin Chao went to his father's food stall and helped with serving the customer. And Shi Jin Chao was seen by Yui Shua, who happened to have an overtime and was about to go home, but realized she hadn't eaten dinner yet and saw the food stall. Shi Jin Chao introduced his father to Yui Shua, and his father had a very good impression of her and didn't even accept the money for wontons, and asked Shi Jin Chao to send Yui Shua home for it was already late at night. After sending Yui Shua home, Shi Jin Chao was seen by the youngest lady at the door, and she dragged him into the dance floor to dance. Shi Jin Chao and Yui Shua started to develop feeling for each other and would constantly meet up, but it causes jealousy on Yui Shua's youngest sister, who also had feelings for Shi Jin Chao, and had tried many ways to get his attention but he is not interested with her as he saw her as a privileged spoiled brat. Shi Jin Chao and Yui Shua later get married when Yui Shua's mother finally recovered her memory, and all the bad things committed by the mother of the youngest lady was exposed. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.